All right, we're starting a new series on Boulder Ridge. We're gonna point out the features riding it backwards. Uh, so many enjoyed uh, riding Boulder Ridge, the regular or the most popular direction. Now we're going to hit it backwards. Um, for hitting it backwards, it requires way more cardio and a lot of technical climbing. So just so you know where we are, uh, Boulder Ridge is, is uh, starting right here or ending depending on the direction you're taking it. This is the red road going this direction, goes down to the North Trailhead. This is the white hiking trail we don't go on. Thunder is right over here to the right and West Ridge is right there. And if you wanna to go to the West, or not the West, the South Trailhead, you're gonna go that direction down the road. Uh, so yeah, we'll do the same thing we did with Boulder Ridge, the most popular direction. We'll stop and point out uh, different lines and different difficulties. So what we learned doing it this direction is the best line to start off with is to come right up here, right to the right of the sign there, right to the right, round the corner and start heading on up. We have tried coming in here, um, but the sign is awfully close and it's just not as, it, it, we don't have as, as, as successful as a run up the, up the gut here. Now, what we have done is once we were getting this, we would, to make it more difficult, we'd actually run into it from this direction. I was trying to say, when we were getting at a high percentage, that's what I'm trying to say, to make it harder, we would enter it to this direction, come right up this um, this rock face right here, and see how that makes it more difficult because you have to make the turn right there, go over that rock, and then the whole rest of the trail is the same. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna pick up where he stalled out, but before we do, um, I wanna point out a couple things on this line that he just did. So I'm gonna back up. He did everything perfect. One of the things that he did that a lot of people won't recognize is right here, he swung wide around this rock right here. If you don't swing wide enough, your tire, your rear tire will get caught right in there and it will literally stall you out. So he finessed it to where, I'd have to watch the video. He, his rear tire either went on this rock right here or it went outside it, but it didn't go in the ravine because it, it'll grab your rear tire and literally stall you out, all right? So that's one of the things he did. And then when he got up here, he actually tried to do the hardest line I think he did, and go up the wall right here. Is that what you did, Javier? Yeah. So that's harder because you have to carry more momentum, and guess what's right there? Inviting a ripping off of your rear derailleur. So it's way harder. An easier line than that is this line right here through the, through the crevice and up. So I've made that several times, many times over the years. Um, the only people I think who've made it up this harder line around that um, is probably Javier and Omar. I don't know anybody else that have. And uh, Omar just has the power to where he can just power up that and around. I just have the luck. You, you, Javier just has the luck. Uh, but yeah, I've never been able to make it. And part of it is I'm a little afraid of stalling out and tearing off my rear derailleur. But those two guys have also done it taking it the harder entrance on the way in. So in other words, approaching it from the north trailhead side, going up that rock, making the corner. Only Javier and, and Omar have done that. And this hard line up here. I've only done that harder entrance down there, coming from the north trailhead and shooting through here more than once. All right, we're gonna finish it on out, uh, the rest of the trail. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow behind I'll be here for the rest of it and we'll point out the lines. Heck yeah, dude. That was awesome, man. When you watch the series going Boulder Ridge the regular direction, this is where we came through. Remember I said you got to keep your momentum up, keep your momentum up, and don't, um, don't venture off this line. 
But going backwards, that's not the line. Going backwards, we're staying over here to the right. We're rolling down here anywhere you want. But the key move that separates the authentic line, the hardest line from an easy cheater line is we actually make ourselves go in between these two trees right here. Makes it way harder. Some people will come down here outside the tree, which is fine, but it's not nearly as hard as coming in between the trees if you want full credit. And then the next thing that he did was he committed to these same, I called them Game Boy rocks in the first video. And um, these are the rocks I said, don't ever do it if they're wet because it's like an ice skating rink. He's going up over this and it's even harder going this direction because your front wheel dives in there. You got to have the timing coming up on the backside and coming through there. And it was actually even harder for him because he's on a big travel bike today. How much travel does your bike have? 170. 170 front? And 160. And 160 rear. So having a big enduro bike is a huge disadvantage to cl technical climbing. It, he would have done, it would have been way easier for him if he would have been on my Banshee. 115 in the rear, 130 in the front. But the Banshee does have a good slack head tube angle. So that part would be good. All right, we're on to the next one.